This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. One of the witnesses seemed to speak for us all today when he said, I can't believe it's happening again. Aurora, Colorado, Lafayette, Louisiana, now Antioch, Tennessee, the scene of the third movie theater attack in three years. It ended today with a dead gunman and a lot of questions. Anna Werner now on how it began. You tell us to go. Cell phone video caught the sound of police shooting at the man they say entered a movie theater at 1.15 this afternoon, wielding pepper spray, a hatchet, and a gun. It was a lot, a lot of shot. It was, it was coming from the uh, side of the theater. The incident began just as the movie Mad Max Fury Road was starting. Police say a 51-year-old man wearing a backpack on his chest and a surgical mask began blasting people in the theater with pepper spray. Officers working a traffic accident just off the theater parking lot ran on foot to the theater. One entered and confronted the gunman. Don Aaron is with the Nashville Police Department. The gunman opened fire on the South Precinct officer. That officer returned his fire and then backed away out of the theater. A SWAT team entered a short time later and the suspect fled. Ultimately, the suspect came out of the back door of the theater. He was shot, fatally wounded, and has been pronounced deceased here at the scene. Police say two women and one man hit with pepper spray were treated at the scene. I'm eternally grateful, <laughs> excuse me. The man, who gave his name only as Stephen, also apparently sustained a superficial injury to his shoulder from the hatchet. I would ask anyone to pray for his family because he obviously has some mental problems or something else. The police blew up the gunman's backpack, but now say it contained nothing dangerous, just a fake bomb. They have yet to examine a second bag. Scott, the police say only eight people were in that theater when the incident occurred. Anna Werner with the breaking news. Anna, thank you.